here to tell you the best route and apps for the Asus Zenfone 5. Many guys have been found in here and there for looking for the rooted as for Asus Zenfone 5, which is uh, very cheap Android at just 10k and giving 2 gigs of RAM, uh, which is excellent from the Asus. But uh, it doesn't support many rooted apps, only few rooted apps are support for that. But before that, you need to get to uh, root your device, and I'll I have given in the link uh, in the description do, uh, do check it and uh, root your Asus Zone from 5 before coming to this guy so first root your device then come here and see the only and the best best and only uh, rooted apps for Asus Zone from 5 which are quite useful uh, I have uh, tested many 10-15 uh, apps but only 50% or uh, 40% of them work so it's uh, many are not un uh, incompatible even the cyanogen mods or many custom roms uh, doesn't flash on the asus zone for fight uh, but the recovery uh, custom uh, clockwork mod recovery or uh, 12 recovery can be uh, flashed uh, into asus zone for fight but other than that uh, no uh, what you can say non-ROMs uh, recovery support uh, in the Asus Zenfone 5 so we hope that uh, people make the compatible apps, rooted apps and ROMs for Asus Zenfone 5 but uh, at, at the moment uh, let's check out the few uh, rooted apps let's check out hello guys now I will show you the best rooted apps for Asus Zenfone 5 so let's unlock my device uh, I, as I have tell you that only some apps are compatible with the Asus Zenfone 5 I have some apps here I have almost 12 apps but only 6 or 7 of them work so we will start with the bad one that is ROM manager so ROM manager is uh, very useful for many devices and very unuseful for uh, devices such as uh, Asus Zenfone 5 is just wastage of app it, uh, because uh, people tell that it can recur it can run recovery setup it can uh, flash recovery setup ROMs but for the Asus Zenfone 5 it will tell you that it is an unsupported device as you can see okay so now let's move on to the next step which is a good app from my opinion but what you think I don't know the folder mount folder mount is a very good app uh, but I will show you how to use it many people doesn't know how to use this app so let's take it okay so as you open the app first run the apps analyzer uh, this is very useful uh, app for when you have a big games in the internal SD card internal memory card and you need to move them to uh, external so the big app biggest app will list in the front you have to click it just click create pair and uh, just uh, follow the instruction after that after creating pair uh, you will have to go into list of pairs and you will see what you have um, uh, paired so I have paired an NFS most wanted data and then uh, you will see that uh, the pin on the right side of the screen uh, make sure that when you are launching that app it should be green if it is not green uh, it will be white then the, your app will require, uh, app will require to download data from uh, the internet so it's very useful uh, if you have only 8 gigs uh, of internal memory and out of that only 4 gigs is available to us but if you have the SD card as the 32 gigs or 64 gigs then it will be very handy for everyone so next step another uh, not working app on the Asus Zenfone 5 is Flashify uh, this app uh, crashes when you go into backup and restore backup the current recovery or uh, click anything in the app this is a very useful app for many since uh, it is a really good app uh, you can directly flash a recovery image or a zip file straight away into your phone without doing anything and even you can download 
the clockwork mod or twerp or fills recovery for your phone so it's a good uh, app but doesn't work on the Asus Zenfone 5 then we go to the most one of the most powerful routing app the ES5 Explorer this is the one of the favorite explorer apps file explorer apps for on the android you have a lot of lot of option even download manager music player hd card analysis this is all apps uh, i'm telling that require the root permission you you can sort with the apps user apps now it will show you you can send them apks or save them as apks backup with micro sds then it will sh show you the all the things and it have many uh, customizable option you can also open multiple windows in this and uh, close them or go to them very quickly navigate to them very quickly you have some very good custom settings so you can uh, manipulate with that now another bad app now i will show you the quick boot many users you uh, don't know or don't uh, know how to get into recovery mode or do a re custom rom installation uh, then they use this app just press the recovery and it will boot into recovery but it doesn't work for the asus zenfone 5 so next app is the titanium backup another great popular app for the android if you are very fan of custom roms and installing again and again this is the must have apps for you for backuping your all the data and the apps into your sd card and create an update zip and then installing back it again so this have uh, an, and also uninstalling very un unuseful as but uh, it can be dangerous can break your system so uh, keep precaution on that that you does not uninstall which is a uh, good for you and the system then the next uh, failure app is the rom installer it's also one of the most uh, popular apps and one of the great apps i have seen for the other uh, phones that you can directly download rom and install them. one of the best rom you will see here for the other devices but for the asus zen from 5 we see nothing except the font packs so even the flash recovery it will say that your device is unsupported at the moment as you can see so it is also uh, not a very useful app if you have a asus zenfone 5 or any asus zenfones then a good app now go to the greenify uh, so so we are talking about greenify so uh, this app uh, really works very well when you have the unwanted notifications of some apps or good notifications then and consuming a lot of battery in the background so what you gonna do this uh, just place the pr pr plus button and uh, see uh, how much uh, apps are running in the background which are unuseful for us so we can go and hibernate them and just click this they will hibernate oh wait a second what happened schedule running so it should show you thing i know so so i don't know how to use this app but it's a very good app uh, I uh, only hibernated the Facebook and uh, WhatsApp notifications which are consuming uh, battery in the background so it is handy for main users if you wanna if you wanna save your battery life so let's go back and see a bad app so bad app now almost nothing uh, so we will talk only about the good apps so root checker basic is the basic root checker you have to check your root that's just uh, the sd made is a great app uh, it have a lot of controls uh, over your system it can find your duplicates uh, it have app control it have the 
कॉप्स फाइंडर कॉप्स फाइंडर विच वेरी कम्स हैंडी वेन यू हैव मेनी अन इंस्टॉल एप्स एंड लेफ्ट देयर डाटा इन योर मेमरी दैट दैट इज क्लीन बाय द कॉप्स फाइंडर सी देन मेनी अनयूजेबल एप डाटा सो यू कैन यूज ऑल्सो सिस्टम क्लीनर फॉर क्लीनिंग यूर सिस्टम बाय मेम क्लीनिंग फ्रीइंग यूर मेमरी यू कैन ऑल्सो एक्सप्लोर द डिफरेंट फोल्डर्स एंड सी द वॉट इज अन अनयूजेबल एंड अनएक्सपेक्टेड टू बी हियर एंड यू कैन सी द वॉट इज द बिगेस्ट फाइल एंड स्मॉलेस्ट फाइल बिगेस्ट फोल्डर स्मॉलेस्ट फोल्डर सी द Yeah, you can see the Android folder where I have the data of uh, all the games. So it's a good app, very good app for the technical or doing very too much with the Android. The so terminal emulator it's working on here, but I don't uh, think uh, it is good to use. But uh, because Uh, it is good to use if you want to install clockwork mode recovery on the asus zenfone 5 but no use of it since it cannot uh, flash the custom rom so uh, even if you install the clockwork mode recovery with the terminal em emulator it doesn't uh, it doesn't come handy if you don't have custom roms and the last one is the zanti is the wifi hacker i have said that wifi hacker yeah It's a Wi-Fi hacker. Okay, what is this? Oh, so it's a Wi-Fi hacker. It will check the vulnerable devices. You can use the man in the middle to intercept it and replaces pictures, passwords, and intercept their downloads and save them to your SD card without consuming your net or anything. So that is very good app, but it is only for the educational purposes, not for the hacking or any other purposes so that's i think for the tutorial in fact not the tutorial it's just for a video of the rooted app so thanks for watching uh, and please subscribe to my youtube channel